we're time to round up a topic of the week. A Texas lawmaker could derail Harris County's plans to save the Astrodome. State Senator John Whitmire says he will introduce a bill this week requiring voters to approve the county project to renovate the dome. If the bill passes, it could mean voters will have the final say over whether to raise the dome's floor and install parking underneath for events. In 2013, voters said no to a bond proposal for dome renovations, but this year, Commissioner's Court found a way to preserve it. Whitmire told Fox 26 that, quote, before the county goes and spends over $100 million on this project, they should ask the voters to support it or defeat it. Harris County Judge Ed Emmett then released this statement saying, quote, it's frustrating that while the Astrodome stood vacant for more than 15 years, very few people stepped forward to offer real solutions. But now that we on Commissioner's Court have finally arrived at a way to preserve the dome as a revenue generating asset for the people of Harris County, Senator Whitmire's legislation risks derailing that solution. The future of the Astrodome is our topic this half hour. As always, we like to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can also send me a tweet at Sally Mac, Fox 26. Joining us in our studio are Fox 26 senior legal analyst Chris Tritico, Democratic media consultant Mustafa Tamiz, and Republican strategist and public policy analyst Jackie Bally. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so can you believe we're talking about the dome again? <laughs> Didn't you think we'd <laughs> put that away? It's, the dome is like that cousin that just <laughs> won't go away. I just, I've giving. never seen anything like it. <laughs> it, it, it. We just can't end this story, Jackie. You know, when, when, when Ed Emmett announced this, Nobody complained. I mean, it, we we lo they lost the election, and, and everybody was all upset. And but nobody complained. And now, out of the blue, Senator Whitmire derails this thing. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I did hear a couple of people say, "Well, didn't we vote on this in 2013?" So every time that the the, um, the judge brings up a new plan to save the dome, the question of, "Well, exactly what did our vote in 2013 mean?" Yes, it was a very small margin that it was defeated, but a lot of people thought that they were voting on this measure and they were not. They were voting, as we all know, on the bond referendum. I'm, I'm not surprised that Senator Whitmire has come up with this, but I do think we're going to have that same fight because County Judge Ed Emmett has made this one of his signature pieces. It's quite clear he wants to save the Astrodome. He is going to continue to come up with very good plans, and I think that this is something that he's going to make sure that happens. I just want something to happen. I, I'm tired of this. I, I really, I'm just, I'm tired of it, Mustafa. Make something happen. Well, you're a mover and a shaker. Do something, please. <laughs> Yeah. Now, look, uh, Senator Moitmeyer is the dean of the Senate. Uh, he, he has always weighed into public policy right. locally, whether it's, you know, the safe, clear law that Mayor, Mayor White introduced, whether it's uh, the chancellor at, at, at U of H talking about putting people in, in, a, in a dormitory when they started. So he has a right as a senator to do this, and he's got great support on the other side of the aisle. So does Judge Emmett, and Judge Emmett's been trying to look for a solution. So we hope the two of them can kind of come together and work this out. But, uh, as, as a plan, Judge Emmett's plan it appears to be because, uh, you know, it's $105 million, but it's, it's going to generate revenue over the long haul. Correct. What's the problem? Well, it is a, 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 a very efficient plan that's been proposed, and I think a lot of the voters are in support of it. I, but we don't know that. Let's go ahead and put it to the vote. The vote. Um, let's let the citizens vote on it. I, I'm willing to bet that it will get a, that it will pass and it will get approved. It's a very good plan. Well, Judge Emmett bet on that in 2013. <laughs> but look, I, you know, I think that that both of them are, are very strong leaders locally that uh, appreciate you know bipartisan support for, for each of them. So hopefully they kind of come together and work this out. Um, and and whatever the, they decide, I think the voters will be fine. Let's go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. All right, the dome always a hot topic, gets people talking. Let's take a look at our Facebook page and see what folks are saying uh, about it there. First up, Brian, he says, if a viable plan exists to preserve the structure and bring in revenue for the city, the county, then why is a state senator getting involved? Doesn't he have better things to do, like get on the TDCJ for their wasteful habits? Troy says, just do something. And Tony says, you could have rebuilt it with the money wasted on deciding what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> with you, I'm with you, Troy, and both on both of those. Just do something, please. Uh -huh. We're tired of this. We want to do other stories here on the Roundup. <laughs> but I think Brian's comments is exactly what I was saying earlier. It's a 
viable plan, and a lot of Houstonians are going to embrace that. In 2013, we did not have a viable plan. There was nothing that was presented. It was just up or down for a bond referendum, and voters said no. But now the, the commissioners have come with a very good plan. With It's going to be a revenue maker, and a majority of residents will vote for that and support it. As I recall, in the 2013 plan, the county thought everybody would just vote in favor of it, and there really wasn't any push to get voter involvement, voter engagement, and all the voters saw was a $250 million plan that they didn't understand. And people said, I'm not voting for $250 million in bonds. Yeah, And, and look, I, I think times are different. Uh, I think probably has better support today. But at the end of the day, you want some of these things to be worked out quietly rather than in such a big public fight. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm an optimist about this. I'm hoping that the two of them will work this out. And I think your comment is correct. I think education is key. If you just have a, an up or down for a $250 million bond versus the discussions that we've had, right. the, 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 the judge has been very specific in rolling out specific plans. I think that's going to help a lot of the voters when they're going to the ballot. When you go to a, a big park like NRG, parking is essential. And when you're going to create 1,400 parking spaces covered at this point, if you've ever been inside NRG for four or five hours, you go out, your car is 600 degrees. And so this is this is something that is, you don't have anywhere else. And well, you're also going to see, like, during the rodeo, we just have tough parking problems over there and, and every single time. So we also, we've got to figure out this parking part, but we also have to start figuring out how do we move people from point A to point B without using their Final thought, cars. Jackie. I think that it's a very viable plan. I do uh, agree with my colleague. I see Senator Whitmire and the judge getting together and coming up with a compromise. Working out. Right, we're going to leave it right there. We think we fixed all the Facebook problems. We're going to try Facebook Live one more time, and we think it's going to work this time, Sally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've, I've given you guys a tutorial enough, I feel like. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, yeah. check them out. Facebook, mm -hmm. Fox 26 Houston right now, and you can ask our panel any question you like. We'll see you in our next half hour. Right.